What's up, people? ILBA, MTC. I'm sitting here checking out Jason Black's, yeah, Jason Black's address on Pan Africanism, right? And um, it brought back, you know, memories of when I used to work uh, up in Syracuse, New York. And um, I had a bunch of people from the African continent around me, a bunch of people working with me from up there. I had uh, people from Nigeria, from South Sudan, from Libya, and from Somalia, and, you know, one or two other places, an Egyptian guy. And, uh, you know, they were all, they all had, you know, totally different attitudes towards black Americans. But one thing they had in common was this, they had this like, it felt like contempt towards us. And I used to get in, you know, debates with them and I'd ask them questions and shit. And, um, you know, about some of the stuff we had heard about Africans and how they feel toward black Americans about how they don't, they don't particularly care for us and, 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 and why, you know, and they had different answers, you know, they was, most of them was trying to be overly polite. One or two of them, one of them, I remember his name, his name was Michael. I don't want to say his last name, but anyway, his name was Michael. And he was from Nigeria, and he had some rich-ass parents. Now, he himself, he was maybe, I want to say about 10 years younger than me, but his parents, his parents were real assholes. I mean, they came to uh, to uh, to the store one night, because, you know, I was running, uh, managing a supermarket. They came in into the store one night to uh, to uh, check on him or to give him some money or whatever the fuck they came to do. And um, I swear to God, the father looked like King, the king from coming to America. Um, and um, But he uh, apparently he was a doctor and his wife was, you know, had some kind of high high position government job and, 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 and his sister was in college and all of this, you know, but they, um, they didn't even acknowledge me. I mean, you know, but their son, their son, Michael was, was, uh, was all right. And we used to talk all the time, but the point is a lot of Africans do have a contempt for black Americans. They think somehow that we are, they just think we beneath them and that we are inferior by definition, and that uh, we are here suffering under the thumb of white supremacy because we want to, and and you know we're just a bunch of fucking idiots and cotton pickers and and akatas and and all of that. They really have this fucked up attitude towards us. I don't know where they get it from, um. But I do know that what Jason Black is talking about is true. Pan-Africanism, you know, it needs to be a two-way street. Otherwise, fuck Pan-Africanism. Um, at least until we we black Americans uh, take care of our own affairs and take care of our own business. I mean, because we did. We did pave the way for them to be allowed to come to this country. Because you had lots of presidents throughout our history who really did not want African immigration. I mean, in recent memory, uh, when when a bunch of Haitians tried to come, I think it was in the 80s, a bunch of Haitians was trying to come into to the United States. Haitian, they used to call them boat people. They would always get turned around and sent right the fuck back. But they let the Cubans in. But the Haitians, they always get turned around and sent back or stopped by the Coast Guard, turned around and taken back. It was like, it was like, we got enough niggas here and we don't need no more. But because of the efforts of, of black Americans and us fighting the, fighting the battles and standing up to motherfucking white supremacy in this country, black people from other parts of the world are allowed to come here are allowed to, um, you know, immigrate to the United States, are allowed to get visas to come to the United States. A lot of times they overstay those visas. We don't turn them in. 
We don't say, hey, there's a whole house full of goddamn Nigerians over here, and I'm sure some of them is illegal. We don't do that shit. We could, but we don't do that shit. We always supporting other black Americans are always supporting other people, you know, at, at our own expense. We always doing that shit. But yeah, that that's what this that's what this conversation reminds me of. It reminds me of my days back in Syracuse. See, Syracuse is a college town, and you get a lot of people from all over the world coming right there to go to SU, and um, and 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 you know where I was working. I met a lot of these people, and some of them attitudes was real fucked up, real raunchy. And not just the Africans either. It was a bunch of, you know, people coming in from the Caribbean had that same fucked up mentality. That same fucked up mentality. And when you sit one of them down and talk to them, they don't even know why they think that way. They think that a lot of them would tell me that they thought that I was somehow different than the average black American. They would somehow think that, you know, I'm not your typical African American. <clears throat> no, Clyde, you are different. No, motherfucker, I'm not different. I'm average. You just got a fucked up attitude and I'm the only one that can, you know, has confronted you. And so you think I'm somehow different than the average black American, but I'm not. I'm not. That's what I used. That's how the conversation would go. So I'm gonna I'm gonna check out the rest of this 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 uh, podcast. These things are three hours long, man. I have to listen to them like twenty minutes here, a half hour there. I can't sit nowhere for three hours and just listen to listen to uh, listen to some of these podcasts. But um, they uh, they they're real good and they're real interesting. So like I said, I have to take them in chunks. I'm going to sit down and listen to the rest of it, and I'm going to give you my thoughts, give you all my thoughts on the rest of the shit. But take it from an OG, man. This is not new. Africans and a lot of Caribbeans always had a fucked up attitude towards black Americans. You know? They, had, they, they don't know anything about our real history in this country. And all they do know, they learn from their white masters. So when they get over here, they got a preconceived notion, and that preconceived notion is gener generally fucked up and ass backward. Anyway, I'm gonna check out the rest of this uh, rest of this podcast between tonight and tomorrow, and uh, comment on it a little bit more. And that's it for now, y'all. TC, and I'm out. <laughs>